Nike Cruiser one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me take it off my foot here. Oh, the elite jogging shoe. As I come back from the runner's knee, doing a lot of jogging right now. And these shoes remind me just to keep it under control so I'm not going too fast coming back from the, uh, the running injury. So here we go. I didn't pick the colorway. It wasn't me, all right? So here we go. Nice uh, neon green and some orange and some blue. Uh, I guess I like the colorway, but these are the Nike Cruiser ones being advertised as a jogging shoe, a kick it around shoe, a dad shoe. Yeah, they're my dad shoes as well. So we're gonna take them though to the gym right now. In fact, I better get rolling because the day is moving along quickly. And uh, we're gonna take them to the gym and see how they perform doing my plyometrics, doing all of my PT work. By the way, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great weekend wherever you're at, wherever you, whatever you're doing, and onward and upward. And away we go, back from the gym in the studio, talking about the Nike Cruiser one. I, uh, gosh, where do you even start to talk with a shoe that looks like that? Uh, look at those colors. I, I don't think I've ever owned a shoe with that bright of colors, but uh, I am liking the green at the very least. Okay, here's the deal. Oh yeah, and I will say it is available, I believe in all black, all white, and then like a baby blue as well. So there, this is not the only colorway out there on the market. Now, why would I pick up the Nike Cruiser one? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's barely, I'm gonna say right now, it's barely a running shoe, okay? I initially picked it up for kicking around the house, going to the park with the boys, my dad's shoe, all right? Chasing the boys around, you know, doing whatever. Just walking around the neighborhood, basically, type of shoe. But then I thought, okay, maybe I'll take it out for an easy day, because it is being marketed by Nike on their website in the running category and specifically as a jogger shoe, okay? A shoe that you can run at very slow paces. And today, my run, three miles, nine minutes a mile, all right, so nice and easy. And I will, I will agree with you, Nike. This is definitely a jogging shoe. I would not take this shoe uh, faster than nine minutes a mile or 8.30 a mile, like, definitely not. And the reason is, it's made for comfort. The upper is all about comfort. You can see the shag, shag carpet going on there around the collar. It's wool, technically, is the material inside the shoe, which is actually supposed to wick away moisture pretty well. But, uh, <laughs> so, it's very much all about comfort. You're not gonna wanna go fast. And, I'll just say as well right now, it's not made for the gym either. That's why I took it to the gym today, just to make sure, could I use this for some cross training in the gym? But I prefer, because you're doing those butt kickers, you're doing some faster movements in the gym, some uh, jumping up on the box, and sure enough, your heel is not locked down through this heel counter in the Nike Cruiser 1. So, uh, real quick, I will say in my size, 
10.1 ounces, so or 286 grams. We're talking about a pretty heavy shoe. Uh, I that's a that's a very heavy shoe in my size. So it is heavy, and uh, I couldn't find any really good information on the drop. I was measuring about 35 millimeters in the heel, and about 27 or so in the forefoot. So you know, looking at about an eight millimeter drop in the Nike Cruiser One, which for an easy day shoe is probably a little high for me. For easy day shoes, I prefer a lower drop, okay? And uh, it's got that React foam all through that midsole, tons of React foam, and yes, it does feel very cushioned. It was very comfortable ride, I will say that much. And like if your legs are tired and beat up, uh, this could be an easy, easy day shoe. Nothing fast in this Nike React uh, midsole foam coupled with that upper in the Nike Cruiser 1. And as far as the outsole goes, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Vimero 14 outsole. Uh, aside from that, I believe the Vimero 14 has the, actually, where is the Vimero 14? Here it is. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of the same. You know, the Vimero 14 has that decoupled um, groove through the outsole. You can see it there. But as far as the pattern of the outsole, kind of reminds me of that Vimero 14. And definitely pretty good grip, actually, for an easy day shoe. I'm actually a little surprised that the lugs are as, um, I mean, not aggressive, but as, as, as much depth as they have, considering you're just going to be plodding along in the Nike Cruiser 1. Now, in the summertime, all right, here we go, here we go. In the summertime, when I go run the 14ers, and it's at the end of a 100-mile volume week of running, my, sometimes I try to go out for three miles, not to get really, even though I am getting an aerobic benefit. Oh yeah, I was gonna mention junk miles as well, hold on. Uh, but not really to get any aerobic benefit from the easy miles, but just to get the legs moving a little bit when my legs are really, really tired, I like to go jog three miles. And I'm talking, when I say jog, sometimes you see it on Strava, we're talking 9.30, 9.30 a mile, sometimes 10 minutes a mile, usually not slower than 10 minutes a mile, and I'm just like barely moving, but when I get home, the reason I do that is I get home so I can stretch and foam roll just to get the legs warmed up a little bit. So I will say, how will I use the Nike Cruiser 1 moving forward? I will use it basically as a dad shoe and to warm up um, to warm up my legs just really, really, really easy so I can come back home and stretch and foam roll. One last point, maybe two, is if I was, uh, if my kids were in soccer, they're not, I, and I didn't want to change my shoes and I was just like out to the grocery store going to get gas in the car and then dropping the kids off at the soccer field and I wanted to get 30 minutes around the soccer fields or around the school or wherever the soccer fields are at, this is a perfect shoe just to plot around and use it almost as a daily walk around shoe and also a jogging shoe, okay? Last but not least on the junk miles, I don't really believe, I, I think junk miles happen for me, I classify junk miles when it go when you're talking, basically when you're putting so much volume into your legs that um, that you're you're beating yourself up so so much that it's not really doing your your body any benefit. Maybe a little a little bit of aerobic benefit, but at the end of the day, your legs are so beat up. Uh, that's yeah. Well, that's another topic. But your legs are so beat up that it's you're just digging yourself a hole. So anyway, I bring that up because running 10 minutes a mile for me. I, I don't con consider that junk miles. I consider that warming up my legs so I can revive them through the stretching and the foam rolling. All right, so that's where the Nike Cruiser 1 is going to come into play. Again, just a fun shoe and a kick around shoe and a shoe to go plot along. And this will be a, a shoe for when I'm retired someday in my, in my probably in my 60s or 70s. I'll be plodding along in this thing and we'll go cruise around uh, Wash Park or something together. All right, everyone, let's go inside. Vlog's not done. Uh, I'll get you the question of the day inside. Got to talk to True Love about the studio situation because it's getting, uh, getting serious in here. Getting serious in here. Oh, how's it going? You making tea? <laughs> Um, yeah, making fine. tea, turmeric. Fine. Oh, oh that felt good. Hon, I got a little update for the shoes. Okay. Uh, let's get this though. Okay. We'll pour it for them. Okay, oh, is it yeah. not open okay, yet? YouTube. Here. Oh yeah. Okay. Basically, the studio. We got a little situation out in the studio. Oh, okie dokie. It's getting a little cray cray. Okay, I'll hold that. And you got that? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Come on over for a cup of tea. Tea time. Tea time. Right here. Tea right time. here. Oh, right here. Right here. Up in there. Uh huh. <laughs> so, the studio is getting a little full. 
Oh, and, sure. And I said I would never do this. Okay. But I might have to get a storage unit sooner, wow, wow. sooner, sooner rather than later. I said I would never yeah. get a storage unit because for my stuff. But I consider the no, shoes. This is, this is like the the giveaway shoes. This and is almost like an office. It's taken over. Well, you know what? It's because you're so generous. And it's amazing. Yeah, your generosity. Yeah, that's true. We're running out of space. Now, that, so. obviously, we're pinching pennies right you know, now. So good, at kind of keeping. I, I didn't mean to shut that. No, for, you're good. I'm just saying, like, this guy, you do a good job of keeping it separate from like life. But so, if you see our bedroom right now, there's like <laughs> about ten boxes of shoes that need to be worn and tested for all of you. So I'm thinking, hon. Okay. Once you you know what we're doing for saving money right yeah, now. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sooner rather than later. Oh brilliant. Maybe in like maybe it's six months from now. Oh brilliant. But I'm thinking it might be time. And you know there's that one by that car wash that's indoor. Right? And there's another one right down new one right down there oh. by the library. So butter Whoa. my bread and Whoa. I know, isn't it crazy? That's crazy. It's your generosity. That's a good sign though, right? Your that's a good sign. Genera- it's a great sign. Aww. It's a great sign. So all right everyone, question of the day. Where are you racing this weekend? What's the distance? What's the name of the race? Give us the story. Actually, when you, if you're watching this Saturday afternoon, maybe you oh. already raced. So you can give us, a, your... give us a little race report. Yeah. What'd you do? What'd you All do? right, everyone. Love you. Sending it off to on the right. We'll toss it back to uh, the Nike playlist. That'll be on the right with all the Nike okay. shoes since we did the Nike Cruiser ones today. And then on yeah. the left, we'll throw it back to the Shubio renovation. Can I give two shout outs? Yeah, real okay. quick. Okay, Tommy. From Texas Roadhouse, hope you found us. Oh, and Barbara, yeah. I got your letter and the little the little precious thing you sent us, and I love your suggestion and thank you. Oh, that's awesome. All right, see you, Judy. Work hard. And love each other. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.